Hi everyone. In this video I'll be looking at some harmony books, beginning with those aimed at the complete beginner to music theory, through to those readers who already have some musical knowledge. As always, I'm not affiliated with any of the authors and don't necessarily endorse completely their opinions and concepts. As well as giving brief introductions to many music topics, these books also discuss harmony from its basics to more advanced concepts. The first book roughly corresponds with topics taught in grades 1 to 4 of the Royal Schools of Music Theory syllabus, and the second book roughly covers grades 5 to 8. As well as cover the structure of basic triads, other topics such as the arrangement of chords in different textures, chord notation in jazz, and phrases and cadences are also introduced. Because these books are designed to be used with the individual grade books, discussion of all topics is fairly brief, but is useful for the complete beginner or when used as a reference. Although not a textbook as such, this book should be read by anyone wanting to gain knowledge of chord usage, doubling, spacing, resolutions and many other related topics as demonstrated by one of the greatest composers. Bach's modal chorale settings and the figured bass exercises included at the end of the book are also useful. Also of interest is the differences between what Bach wrote and what many textbooks suggest as common practice. Throughout the chorale settings, for example, Bach's doublings and resolutions of diminished chords often differ from those given in many harmony books. As its name suggests, this book is written for those who already have some music knowledge and covers topics such as more advanced modulation, writing modulatory passages, string writing, and secondary and chromatic harmony. The book is easy to read and includes many exercises and examples, all written by the author. Through its initial chapters before moving on to cover more advanced musical concepts, this book introduces harmony and the basics of many other music topics. It is useful therefore as a textbook not only for complete beginners but also more advanced students. Along with many examples taken from actual works, each chapter concludes with exercises which can be further supplemented with the keyboard progressions in the appendix. As the authors explain, the keyboard progressions are designed to illustrate the most important techniques covered in the chapters and are all notated in C for ease of transposition. Also included for reference at the end of the book is an index of the book's musical examples and a subject index. This book's focus is on techniques and concepts used by many contemporary composers. There is, however, information relevant to earlier styles of music. During the book's initial chapters, for example, the author discusses interval and scale construction and the addition of extensions to basic triads. Although all examples appear to be by the author, he does include at the ends of each chapter or section of the book what he terms source material, listing works using the particular concepts covered through the relevant sections. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.